So on this Roblox catalog, I've covered glitched items, I've covered expensive items, I've added up how much it would cost to buy everything that's currently on sale, I've covered the rarest faces, the rarest domini, the rarest sparkle time fedoras, but today we're going to be looking at exclusive Roblox items. Now if you're wondering what an exclusive Roblox item is, it's something that was only given out to select few users and you could never buy it. It has to be given to the users by Roblox and it's for like a specific purpose. So rather than just rambling on and on about what an exclusive item is, let's just get right into this video. So the oldest exclusive item on Roblox is the Red Bandit Top Hat. So back from around 2007, 2008-ish, all the way up to like 2012, 13, and 14-ish, if you reported a bug to Roblox, like for example, if you were in a Roblox game and there was some weird glitch that was caused by Roblox, then you could email Roblox describing the bug to them, and then if they really appreciated your help, they would award you a red banded top hat. The description says, awarded to outstanding or extremely helpful testers. If you have to ask, you are neither. If you get one, consider it a personal thanks from the admins to you. But overall, this is an exclusive item. You can't just buy it or find one on the street. You have to earn this from the Roblox admins, okay? So, the white banded red top hat is for really famous devs, okay? And what I mean by that is, you know how Roblox always has an event going on? Like right now they got Aquaman and Action and the Creator Challenge. Well, all of these events, all of these events use games that are already made by creators on Roblox. And if your game gets used in one of these events, then the people who made this game are awarded this hat. So if you look around, you can see everyone who's earned this hat. It's a pretty rare hat and it's not given out very often, but this is another exclusive Roblox item that you can't get. So you have the red banded boss white hat, the binary banded boss white hat, you have the boss white hat, the original, you have the gold sparkle time banded boss white hat, and finally, you have the purple banded boss white hat. And all the descriptions are the same thing, awarded to those players boss enough to use their hacks for good instead of evil, and then times however many times I did it. Now, this might be a confusing description for some, but I can crunch it for y'all. Basically, this hat is used to reward players that report glitches and vulnerabilities with the Roblox client. So it's like the red banded top hat, but for more serious problems. So if you're hacking the Roblox website and destroying it with your bare hands, then you might be awarded a boss white hat instead of a red bandit top hat. Now, this next item is honestly an item I like a lot and I have a connection with it. And of course, this item is the reason why Fave with 1A is permanently banned. This item has been responsible for so many deaths of poor innocent Roblox users. And what item am I talking about now? Oh, of course, I am talking about the ban hammer. Now, the ban hammer is given out to all moderators and admins. I think this is common knowledge, but I have to put it in the video because this is an exclusive Roblox item that not anyone can just get. Now, former mods, former admins, or current mods or current admins, you will get the ban hammer. And honestly, I've always wanted a ban hammer. Like, it's such a cool item. And like, Back, there's a rumor that back in the day it used to actually ban people, but nowadays it just flings people. I love the ban hammer. I mean, of course you have 10 ways to get banned on Roblox, you have all that stuff. Now, if you guys remember the Ready Player One event they had earlier this year, the grand prize winner won the- And so, the first person to beat all the challenges in Jailbreak for this Ready Player One promotional event would win the Dominus Venari for finding all the keys, just like in the movie how the winner of that contest would have an epic prize. So there's only one owner of the Dominus, Roku, and there's a lot of stuff that has gone on with this. A lot of YouTube videos that have covered this item. So I don't really have much more to say about this other than the fact that this is also the rarest Dominus, and you can check out my top rarest Dominus videos in the top right corner right now. So that's some cool stuff right there. So. The Bunny Ears of Caprice, this is a lesser known exclusive item of Roblox. And if you look at the owners, they were only given out in 2008 and not much people own them. And the description isn't too helpful either. A terrible beauty is born. Well, so after some research, it appears to have only been given out to some admins of Roblox back then, not even all of them. 
And apparently, if you wore this hat and you're not an administrator, you would explode after five seconds. But if you wear these ears, they will explode you. And apparently, they would give you tools when you wear it. Right here is one of my dream items on Roblox, known as Doombringer's Doombringer. This is just like the last hat. It would give you tools upon wearing it, only if you are Mr. Doombringer. Now, if you guys don't know what my old videos are like, I made it very clear that Mr. Doombringer was my favorite Roblox moderator of all time, and this hat was made specifically for him and some eager admins who wanted the item too. But the hat was made for him, specifically. No one else can have it except for these eager people. But look, this is a really cool bucket. It's I think it's the best bucket on Roblox, but we're getting there, okay? Over here, we have the teapot turret. Now, I was originally gonna put this in my glitched Roblox items video, but it's not a glitched item. It's an exclusive item. And this item was made specifically for clockwork, okay? And it would give you tools when you when you had it. It comes with a teapot launcher, a gravity hammer, a string of bale fire, a column generator, and a few other tools. Of course, only clockwork could get these tools, but it's really cool. So you can see some of these tools in action. Look over here, that's crazy. Wearing this hat lets you do this to innocent users. This is crazy. Or you could do this, just explode a bunch of people. Or you can just explode in the air like this is insanity roblox back then was such an open place and like it's insane so this odd item of the past really shows how roblox was like the wild west back in the day and let's continue to the next item now the crown of warlords itself is not an exclusive roblox item in fact it's a very common item that's a limited that anyone could just buy right now if you had the money for it but they made a special crowd of warlords for the Dark Lord of Squall. SQL, that's, that's a scripting language. I sound stupid. But look, the description says, select from users where account ID equals 111627. Now, if you know how Roblox works, your account ID is like your ID. Like, that's you. I'm 20963, and the person who this hat was made for is 111627. And that ID belongs to Noob007. Now, he is an admin of Roblox. In fact, if you go to his badges, you can see that he's an admin. And so, this hat was made specifically for him, and you know, that's nice. I mean, they, anyone else who's owned it over the years has been banned forever. So, it just looks like this hat is just for Noob007, and I guess shit let's go, since, you know, <laughs> why not? You look at this item, the Black Iron Crown of Pwnage. This item was given out to winners of a 2007 sword fighting tournament. I remember this happening, and I remember PokerMan29, he had an underscore in his name back then, now his name is PokerGod, he won this as the grand prize for his fighting efforts on Roblox, and it's a really cool hat if you really look at it. Now, of course, over the years, the admins love to give out items that shouldn't be given out to people that don't deserve it, but you know what, it's all good, because who am I to complain about this? So. You have the Black Iron Crown of Pwnage as another exclusive Roblox item, and this video is just scratching the surface of exclusive Roblox items. I've covered the Dodati smile in my top rarest faces on Roblox video, and this was the rarest face of all time on Roblox. But what I didn't cover before is the Dodati bandana and the Dodati hair. And just like the Dodati smile, this is a one-of-a-kind item given to the Korean YouTuber Dodati by Roblox for him, and he's the only one that can own it, and he's the only owner of it ever. So this is a really exclusive item, one owner, no one else can own it, and that in itself just makes it a crazy situation where I kind of envy him. Like, why doesn't Roblox give me my own item? kind of want to start fighting someone over at Roblox HQ if I really think about it, you know? Yeah. So, another exclusive Roblox item only given out to f a few people is the Black Iron Domino Crown of Interns. Now, I've always wanted this hat, and this is the last one I'll be covering today. This is such a good looking hat. You know how perfect it would look with my outfit? Just, just look at it. Look at this. It's so perfect. But since I'm not a Roblox intern, and Roblox doesn't particularly like me, in fact, I'm permanently banned from entering the Bloxies, thanks 2015. So there's no way I'll ever get this hat, but if, if I could ask for one wish from the Roblox admins, it would be to own the Black Iron Domino Crown of Interns. You see these people who own it, and it's so cool, and I want it, but nobody will give it to me. Nobody. Just give me the hat. 
and I'll go out of my way, okay? Look. But anyway, thanks for watching the video, and every like is one step closer to me getting the Black Iron Domino Crown of Interns. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.